Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing Day bringing you a really, it's a special video, guys. This is going to be one of the more special videos that I've ever done, and um, I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. I'm really excited about it, and I hope that you guys enjoy it just as much as I'm going to enjoy it, recording it. It's going to be it's gonna be really awesome. Please leave some love on the video, guys. Leave some likes. Blow up that like bar because it is going to be a longer video, and um, I hope that people... Come watch it. Even though it is going to be pretty long, I still think it's very deserving of um, your guys' love and support. And I got to thank you guys for all the love and support because without you, I wouldn't be to where I am right now. And I would not have kept doing this whole YouTube thing. I love it, but having people to interact with, people to talk to, people that have become my friends even on YouTube, it, it just it's such a cool thing to be able to say that I have... 30,000 subscribers on YouTube and even though that may not be a lot to some people it's it's a lot for me you know it's not a big number in the big picture of things but 30,000 people at one point or another thought that I was cool enough that they would subscribe to me and um this is more of a four year celebration because if you guys didn't know I actually uploaded my very first commentary on May 20th 2011 um so my four year anniversary was four days ago um I wanted to record this uh, then, but the, I decided, you know what, let's wait till the weekend. I think it would be better. I had more time and everything. So I want to get this done, guys. We're going to take a look back at a lot of videos, man. We're going to look back at where I started and how far we've come. And thank you guys so much for uh, for just sticking around for so long. It, it's, it's, a really, it's a really, really cool thing, and I'm definitely excited. And you guys might wonder why I have this hat on a lot. It's because I do have other hats, but this one is the best for the videos. Like, when I record, like, it just... It, the color and everything looks good for the videos, whereas some of my other hats are a little bit too too bright or too dark, and it just kind of messes up the color correction. So yeah, also I like this hat, obviously, and I like this shirt, and I like this Call of Duty Black Ops 3 wristband thingy. But anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and just let's do a run through, and you guys are more than welcome to check out these videos on your own, but I think it will be very, very cool to kind of go through. And now if we go here and look at the videos, okay, I was going to do a reaction video. God, there are a lot of girls in my videos, but who cares? I like girls, right? So do you. It's awesome. Now if you go to the videos, um, you can go right here, date added oldest to newest. And you guys can see some of my very, very first videos that I ever, ever uploaded. And um, it's cool. This is going to be fun for me, man. It's going to be really fun. There's a lot. I haven't seen these videos in years, man. And um, it's going to be very cool, I think. So we're going to get into it. But before we do, I do want to say that I was going to do a reaction to like my first video ever. That was the plan. But then I decided, you know what? Who inspired me? T-Mart. He actually did this where he like looked through all of his old videos. And it was really fun. Like I watched it and um, I thought that was cool. So rather than just one reaction, I actually decided let's go ahead and do a reaction just to all the old videos. And... Um, I'm really excited, you guys. I'm really excited. So go ahead and leave that love. Thank you so much. Four years on YouTube, 30,000 subs. I'm hoping that this year uh, is when we get even bigger. You know, sub growth has been amazing this year. My best year so far. Um, gained over 10,000 subs this year, which is amazing. And um, hopefully it continues on. I'm excited for next Call of Duty. I'm excited for what's happening next on YouTube. I'm excited for Omega. Excited for my stories. Uh, it's just, it's really cool, you guys. So... Huh, I could sit here all day and thank you guys, but let's get into it. So I figure we might as well watch this first video, right? These are little sniper montages. Uh, shoot, I don't know if there's music in here. We didn't come here. There is. Some little Black Ops 1 sniper montages. What a beast! What a beast! But this video, most epic gunship kill ever in the history of Black Ops. Boy, did I know how to title stuff. I get a 360, a 360 no scope, bro, in a gunship. Look at that. <laughs> so classic with that classic montage editing. That's pretty cool right there. Oh, man. Such a sexy kill, man. Look at that like to dislike ratio. Haters, man. Haters. If, any, if video games have taught me anything, it's that if you run into enemies, you go in the right way, right? And let's, let's see, introduction commentary, who needs a camp? 46 to 7, because I was like, when I first started, I was just camping hard, like, look at these scores, man, 54 to 1 with a sniper, um, 91 to 3, flawless, like, ah, just beast, and let's look at this introduction commentary, let's watch it, I'm going to watch it with you guys, 
Um, we'll just watch maybe a minute of it, see how it goes. Freaking ads, man. Freaking ads all up in my face. Get out of my face, ads. Influx. This is my first commentary. It's funny how, like, you can tell what I wanted to be like, but I was nervous, you know, because it was my first commentary ever. And I think that's true with everybody. If you look at anybody's commentaries, they're always different in the beginning. What is up, guys? It is Overflow, and this is my first commentary. I'm going to bring you a nice little match here on Jungle with the ACOG PSG-1, the Foley Auto CZ-75, and Double Tomahawks. Wow, I've had enough of that I, intro. my opinion, I like to run over and jump over this bridge as soon as there's a pause in the attack. I come around back, and normally I'll catch two or three guys. This time, I guess not too many people came this way. I still caught one guy, and then... Oh, oh that guy did not know I had a tomahawk, did he? <laughs> so classic, like, man. I was like, whoa! I did, whoa, how do you... But then I get him. Because, you know, you can't dodge bullets forever, man. You just... And what I do... Sorry for the slip up. It does I was so nervous, too. Online. Like, I'll give it that. Whenever I would and, mess um, up on anything, I'd be like, oh, sorry that I messed up on my word. Like, who cares, man? You're a person. 80, people mess up when they speak normal, sometimes. But, you know, what can you do? And so, anyway... Dude, Black Ops 1, man. Uh, just, Black Ops 1 was, like, the best game ever. I freaking... Black Ops 1 is my... I think it's the best Call of Duty, to be honest with you guys. Uh, World at War was my favorite, but Black Ops 1 is right up there with it, man. Black Ops 1 is good. Advanced Warfare is pretty good, too, but uh, a lot of people don't think so. I like it. Look at these black bars on the side. Look at these black bars, like, right on the side of the, of the video here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cool. The black bars on the video are great. All right, let's go... That was good. It was a good start, though. Definitely a good start, for sure. Let's keep it. Let's keep it rolling. Forty-one to one. Camp and champ commentary. You camp and champ because people would be like, "Bro, why don't you run and gun?" And I was like, "Forget that, guys. I'm gonna camp and champ." Now I don't camp as much because I feel like they really changed a lot of the. Uh, my nose is stuffy today, but I feel like they really changed a lot about Call of Duty and like camping isn't the same. You can't just set up like for me. I always like to play like tactically. But you can't really do the same thing um, as you could back then. Uh, let's see. WA200. New series. If you see, like, my titles have always been kind of the same. Like, I put in... I, I basically... What is this? Is this the same video twice? Why is this the same video twice? That makes no sense. Oh! The sound messed up, I guess. But, uh... So I uploaded it again. I'm super cool. <laughs> But let's go ahead and check it out. There's a few videos that I kind of remember that I want to see. And I, I got to say, is this it? Yeah, this one's a pretty good one. We'll watch this one. My titles have always been the same, though. I just put a bunch of crap in the title, like everything that I talk about. MW3, Quickscoping, Sniping, and World of War is the best. Like, if you guys couldn't tell, my titles have always just been a mash of random random stuff. Let's check it out. And I'm using the Y2K, or you might just say the way too cool. But stay out of my way, or I will quick scope you, Overt Flow. <laughs> What's up, guys? It is Overt Dude, Flow. Dude, classic intro, and man. Today, I'm going to be talking strictly about the gameplay. This guy made me mad, so I pistol him. This is a free-for-all gameplay on Summit using the way for my YouTube fans here. Because I know that you guys like to watch one of the best snipers on YouTube. Not to sound cocky, I just like to be clear about it. And plus, controversy sells, so if I sound cocky, then please leave it that way. <laughs> but I'm really not, though. Anyway, <laughs> shoot this guy. Uh, typical sure douchey, like, heard me, trying to be the coolest reason, sniper ever. Even though I gotta admit twice. that I probably was one of the... I, don't know if I, was I had the highest what, KD. I had no the highest KD on YouTube. Beast. That guy was Sniping. A beast. I had like a 5.5 anyway, KD in this game. Bringing you ridiculous. this nice little free-for-all match using the house sniper. I call it a house sniper. In Modern Warfare 2, it was so big that it looked like a mansion. In this game, it looks more like a small uh, three-bedroom house. But it's still a pretty big gun. I actually just got into using it on camp in Ground War. Or, I mean, not in Ground War, in regular domination. So I was like, I wonder if I can... And then I tried to hit this light pole with my tomahawk. Chance and free-for-all. Second chance never belongs in a free-for-all game. And I would like a... Dude, <laughs> so classic. I don't know if you guys remember that I used to do, like, my intros. I used to sing them. Like, that's why my intro now is, yo, 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 it's overt flow. Like, it still kind of has that singy along thing. And, um... 
it still kind of has that going for it but back in the day I used to like literally sing my intro and it happened because in one of my videos actually I don't know where it was I'm not gonna look for it but in one of my videos like I had a really long intro and so I was like boom, down, boom, down, boom, down, boom, down, boom. and just to like do something because it had no music to it and eventually that became like a song and um that that's what happened there and uh, it became like a little song and so from that it just turned into like a singing song intro and then it broke back down because a lot of people were being like a lot of people like the songs in every intro but then a lot of other times people would be like oh, it kind of turns me off of the video so I, I i just started doing like a still a song intro but like a short song yo 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 it's overflow not using amazon student can be humiliating Heavier objects can arrive at your doorstep the day after tomorrow. Why is this guy always talking to me about stuff in the advertisements? Let's just take this slow. Welcome to the Overt Show. I sing really good, you guys. The Xbox did not have as many questions or so. Question because of uh, this is crusher. If you're watching, tell me. Look at my friend requests. I okay. now ask Overt. Very first question. Look, this is my very first Q and A ever, you guys. This is like the very first, it used to be called The Overt Show, and now it's just, uh, you know, Q&As, but this was like where it all started at. What do you do? A set of video sometime. I will do a set of video, and actually I'm going to do it. 4,000 subs, oh yeah. Wow, great, good, good stuff. Let's keep going down here, man. Let's check it out. Building your channel, health and aging. Um, over and frosted frosted flow it's some guy look at this look at this shot this is amazing I was so excited like when I hit this shot Bravo. for a little montage this is amazing I come and this was on Xbox too I think look at this through the window man through the window to the wows <laughs> oh my god <laughs> crazy talk man that was insane ah what the heck well, now I gotta go back and do this again. Fantastic. Good job. Good job over it. Let's go through here. But it's just crazy, man, that like... I mean, 30,000 subs is, is a big number, um, to be honest with you guys. And I'm hoping that this... Like, it just keeps getting better is, is what I'm hoping for. And with you guys' support, it definitely, it definitely will for sure. And so that was all during Black Ops 1, and now... We're like going through here, dogs in less than a minute. I think that I get dogs in 30 seconds at one point here. And then this is some MW2 for everybody. Super special with secret 100th video. Wow, cool. Shotgunning like a champion, important news. Let's go. Look, and this is when I first got my dual comm with Wings of Redemption. If you guys didn't know, I did do a dual comm with him, which is absolutely insane. And, uh,. It's just crazy, man. It, it's just crazy that it's been like... Look at the stuff that I was uploading. Just like weird, random Call of Duty stuff. I always wanted to be a Call of Duty commentator. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like it didn't work out as, as good as I would have liked it to. Um, I just wanted to get big off of COD. And even though I have 30,000 subs mainly from Call of Duty, my lately my sub growth has been because of stories and because of um, Omega videos. And I think that you guys are really, really enjoying that. So... I'm just I'm just really excited that you guys are still enjoying my stuff after all this time. You know I'm excited. I still have subs that came around back during Black Ops One. You know, and that's it's it's insane. And so I, we ordered pizza, so pizza's coming. So I'm waiting to see when the pizza arrives. They better not eat it all without me. I'm gonna be recording this. But all this stuff is crazy. Let's look at this one. This is like one of my most viewed videos ever flying glitch tutorial yo 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 it's overt flow and here we go what's up guys it's overt flow and today we're just gonna be bringing you something fun that you guys can pull off in private matches with your friends and stuff like that this off in the so, online multiplayer <laughs> this actually got on two bucks channel yeah, if you really guys remember gameplay we'll no 24 the or either way gameplay funny video something 24 7 like really i got we'll have like no 2000 subs the from this video the only way that it's you'll be able cool to pull this coming out of that tutorial. and uh I've seen a whole bunch of other them. You scope in, you press either name, knife at them. You like this at them, glitch you was so in, awesome in MW3. You press the knife button while you're scoped in. Then you look at them, see their name, knife at them. Look at that. <laughs> you just go flying into the air. It was insane. But see this, like all this stuff, mo mess ups. Going through here. MW3 was really fun. I mean, I didn't like it at first because it was just too fast paced for me. 
But after a while, it started to be really, like, I thought that it was really good. Like, after a while, I thought it, flow styles, it was like when I would rap in the beginning of my videos from time to time. Pretty funny. This one has a thousand views, exactly. That's pretty cool. Uh, how to snipe in quick scope tutorials. MW3, I just didn't like it at first, but after a while, I finally got used to it. And I started to really enjoy um, going for Moabs. And so, as you can see, like, my views weren't great during this time. Well, actually, they're not bad. My views were not great back then during MW3, but after a while, they started to get a little bit better. And then I had this, like, uh, Samurai series that I did, which was really fun. Over does a live com. That was my first, like, live com ever. And I would just upload the most random stuff. And I didn't really, like, I've been doing YouTube for a while. Let's watch this together, actually. This was a kid named Advanced UAV. He was, like, had the most irritating voice that you could possibly imagine. And he was trying to be a commentator, and he started to blow up. He was, like, 11 years old, but he, like, blew up to, like, maybe 15,000 subs just because people were like, God, he's so irritating. So I did a reaction video to him. I thought it was pretty funny. So we'll watch that. It's so irritating. <laughs> So classic. What a classic video. Super classic, man. Um, yeah, little skits like that are really fun to do. And it's funny, man. Back in the day, like, I, I wanted to just get big off of commentaries, but I came in just a little bit too late to really get, like, turned into a giant off of just gameplay commentaries. And even though I think that I did really good, I'm really finding my place in YouTube just now. You know, the Omega videos where I get to talk to people, um, that stuff is really what... I enjoy it a little bit more, you know? Is it too late to be a commentator? Look, I was just talking about that. Flow style. Uh, scantily clad women at the gym. What was that about? I probably was talking about something. It was a live com, I think. I, I try to do, like, would you rathers and stuff. I try to do, like, would you rathers. It didn't work out. It's just hard, man. It, it is hard to grow on YouTube. It's, it's very difficult. Here's my one year on YouTube anniversary flawless sniping. Um... Yeah, we could watch a second of that, I suppose, right? Herder of Buffalo, guys. I've been here for a year, and y'all have been there for me. It's my one-year youtube anniversary. I am over at Flo. Let's get on a sniper roll. What's up, Flo? Hope that <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I did the What's Up Flo's intro. Don't you know? I love all of you. What's up, guys? <laughs> I have to admit, classic that man. I really love with every fiber of my being. I love doing this stuff, and um, I would like to do it even more with uh, different outlets besides uh, just video games. So, anyway, see, and yeah. I finally got to that point. I said I want to do it with more outlets rather than just video games. And I'm finally to the point where I'm able to do more than just video games. I think this gameplay, I go something like sixty and zero. I think it is a sixty and zero gameplay. Stuff like that. Is this the one? So Let's see. So thankful for you guys, and I'm yeah. Really look, I get the last kill. Part of this community, and um, I love oh, you guys. Oh well, am I lying to you? Wait, what? What did I? What was Wish my that score? Wish this video was a half an hour long, so I could just go on about it. But that's my one year. What was my final score? Video. I'm so thankful for you guys, and I'm. God, that HD quality though. Is that 37? Is that a 37? Well, whatever. It might be a 37. But I did get like a 16 0 gameplay. I thought it was that one. This was when I had a hedgehog herder of buffalo. If you guys don't know who he is. Uh, he's got like a million subs now. He does Omega videos. Pretty crazy to think. What is this? Is this his intro? In the final three, in the Furious Five, Look. and in the in, and in the top ten as well in the commentator buff. <laughs> Your votes has put me in Dude, today. that dude has like a this million subs now. We used to do comment stuff back in and the day. Pretty cool dude. I still watch his videos. Still enjoy him. All English and stuff. He needs to come to Vegas and visit me though. That'd be cool. But man, yeah, I want to do more commentator buffets. If you guys didn't know, I used to do like commentator tour tournaments to just help out smaller channels. And it's crazy to see, like I've been here a while, you guys, and I feel like a lot of people know me, even though I don't have the biggest channel. And it's just because I've been around for a long time. And uh, 
you know, it, it's crazy to see how some people just give up YouTube. Some people get big and give up. Some people never make it and give up. And then there's people like Herder who, he's got like a million subscribers now, which is insane, man. I wish that I even had half of what he was at, you know? And um, with you guys' support, I'm sure that we could get there. Look, I'm a host of a new podcast. Come watch. I had a podcast. Oh, I changed What's all the descriptions. Flows, don't you know? I love them. It's starting in just a few you're gonna be able to hang out yeah i had a podcast with youtubeable and this guy named tgb kyle that was really fun this is just a banana i think that i was proving a point to kuba if you guys know okay okay cuban kings i was like i could literally upload a banana okay and people would like it <laughs> and so i uploaded a picture of a banana or me holding a banana which was ridiculous and this is black ops we start talking about black ops 2 at this point man um which is pretty exciting because for me i did not like mw3 so we started about talking about Black Ops 2, and back in the day I tried to do like, um, these fake videos, like it was White Boy 7th Street, it's not who you think he is, like people were calling him a money whore, so I, um, so I, I, uh, like made a video pretending like I was hating on him, but then I was like, dude, you guys need to grow up, which is pretty crazy, this is awesome, let's start this up, Wings of Redemption Dual Com, made my day back in the day, man, crazy, he forgot to leak me, which kind of sucked, but it still made my day, um, channel Rebirth. I was like wondering what to do with my channel so I decided that I was going to try even harder and do all this stuff. And um, so that's a Channel Rebirth. Watch this. What's up everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption and I'm back and I'm bringing you audio commentary today. It's actually a dual commentary with your boy Overt Flow. <laughs> yo, 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 it's Overt Flow. Overt Flow. What's up, Moron. I find that the Claymore is, is like a, it's like a false guard or sentry dude play. it was like, the coolest thing ever to get a dual com with wings like he doesn't post as much as he used to man but he used to be so big in the community and like he was one of my favorite commentators ever like i don't think that he likes me because he's told me like i don't like you you're too happy but i still i love wings of redemption man it was awesome to have that dual com with him even though you forgot to link me wings um, that was like one of the highest points of my YouTube career for sure. And then this is when Black Ops 2 came out and I love Black Ops 2, man. Black Ops 2 was great. I didn't like the skill based matchmaking because I always play solo. So it's hard to get good games when you're playing solo constantly. And, um, but it was awesome. I did like some transit, some zombies, uh, painkiller already intro rap song. What did I do there? I don't even know. Treat others as if they were you serious topic. But that has 4,000 views. That's amazing. Um, that's pretty cool, man. I was trying to talk about how, like, there's so much hate on YouTube. And there's so many people just being douchebags. And it's nice to have, like, I don't understand the hatred, man. I don't understand it. Like, when you come to a channel and you're just like, F you, man. F this. F that. Like, dude, where are you at in your life that you're so upset with people? Like, calm down, man. Like, for the most part, it, it's just crazy but if i was to do that to you like you would be mad at me it's, it's just crazy people are ridiculous and they think only about themselves so much of the time and i feel like 80 percent of people on this planet are stupid so <laughs> that that's a that's a good thing but what else don't subscribe to me dislike unsub hilarious oh yeah that dual come with wings though i actually had um i actually had to get a sniper moab for him which was you crazy quick scope boy that's daring but when you're sniping tactically you know when to use your secondary i am over at flow say hello to my friend my sniper rifle i'm classic what's going on you guys how are you guys doing today first things first about the gameplay this is going to be a hundred dude <laughs> my freaking commentaries are great i feel like black ops 2 is where they started Drivers, love me for like i started to be I where i am today like how i talk having... and how i commentate this is like how I got there, and this video was crazy. I got 103 kills for a lot more. I think I, I think it ends here. Also, I got some crazy. Flop. Look, 103 kills with a freaking sniper rifle on Nuketown, which was crazy. I actually ended up getting that for X Jaws. He never posted to his channel, but we did become friends. And whenever he comes out to Vegas, I always hang out with him a lot. Tactical sniper positioning, man. This was like where it's not where it started. I started in Black Ops One, but these are where they started to get big. Look, 10,000 views, 20,000 views. Um, Tackle Sniper Positioning is awesome, you guys. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a series that I do every year when a new Call of Duty comes out. And uh, this year it didn't do so well just because I think Advanced Warfare, there's so much jumping and stuff going on. Um, it did not do that well. That well, But um, but yeah, TSP is normally good. I do it every year where I just basically tell like the best stories that I can. Or not the best stories, sorry. I give you the best spots that I can. Sorry, I was reading this. 
I give you the best sniper spots that I can give, and it's normally a really good series. So I'm hoping in Black Ops 3 it gets big again, because that's a really fun series to do. And this is when, like, Chaos Silencer, if you guys know who he is, he was using my gameplay all the time. So if you can tell, like, my views are up during this time. My views are doing pretty well during this time. Because he was using all my all my videos. Like, even Wings of Redemption, I think. Yeah, he did. He used one of my videos, my gameplays, for his channel. And, like, FPS Russia and Woody were both like, God, that gameplay you got today was crazy. And that he was like, oh, that wasn't me. That was Overflow. So I thought that that was really cool. 10,000 subscribers two years ago. 10,000 subscribers, man. Really crazy. Um, I was just dropping crazy gameplays here. Look, 116 to 4, 117, 100. All my kills were like 100 kills. Or, you know, like this was cool. I almost got carjacked. Hey, that's a story time. I should put that in my story list. Um, I should do that right now, actually. Almost got carjacked. Uh, let's do that. Let's take this. We're going to add it to story times. And we'll go down. But like 51 and 0, all my gameplays were good. Like sniper rifles were good. But then look at this. 161 to 1 with 149 kill streak and 120 kills in one single round, you guys. That's insane. Is there pizza here yet? They better not eat all my pizza. But yeah. Oh, why did I take a picture? Okay. But yeah, man. It was... uh crazy and during this time chaos silencer was posting my gameplays on his channel so i really grew a good amount um it was pretty awesome and look this is when uh the q and a's started to really take off like i always wanted to do q and a's uh let's go ahead and check this out i always wanted to do q and a's man i always wanted to do them but i never had a big enough audience to do q and a's and finally during black ops 2 when i was getting shout outs from my like, chaos silencer and stuff and during this time i started to do a q and a i was like it probably won't even work but I tried to do it anyway, and it you ended up working, man. It ended up working, and you guys ended up loving it, and that's why the Q&A series is still going strong to this day. Give me questions. I'll give you answers. You can ask whatever you want, man, so don't mind your manners. I am overt flow. Let's get on a zombie roll. What's going I think it's my first and only shotgun moab from MW3, um, so I thought... Leave a like, or don't even pause it, just go down. So, as you can see, you guys, a lot of people might ask, like, like right. a lot of you guys might ask about the titles, like, why do you have, like, such weird titles? It's because it's advertisement for the channel, man. Like, would you rather click on a video, if somebody asks me, like, a bunch of questions and somebody's like, what's your favorite game? Or they say, I think I might be gay. Like, I'm going to go with the one that's more controversial, the one that attracts more people, because I want my channel to grow, you guys. Look at this zombie rap that I did. Wait, Mob of the Dead breakdown. No, wrong one. <laughs> Look at this freaking zombies rap. I'm great. Uprising. DLC. Zombies. We got a new location. The mob of the dead. Here's the situation. Boy, shoot for the head. Zombies with them red eyes. Stuck in 1920s Alcatraz. So tell me who are the good guys. Come in after flesh. I can see the longing. I pull a round drum out and slap it on my Tommy. Got an all-star cast. Including Michael Madsen. Show me where them work benches at. So I can get to crafting. Making wonder weapons. See them zombies there, man. I'll send them all to heaven. But... What is going on and who's in control? I see you're scared to death and hellhounds eat souls. Shutting down these bars, zombie prison guards, locking up the cells. Give me something I could use to defend myself. Don't leave me in this hell. I gotta be honest with you guys. I don't think that that was a bad rap. People were giving me lots of crap for it. But I think that if I would have added some like music to it, it would have been pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think that it would have been bad. And then this, during this time, look at this, cons and boners, special powers, how to hump. <laughs> like, dude, my Q&As have always been ridiculous, you guys. It just adds funness to it. And here's, like, some of my jujitsu tournament fights and stuff, which is pretty cool. Thoughts on the Vengeance DLC, meeting fans, meeting YouTubers, um, all this. My Look, I tried to do Minecraft, you guys. I really did. I tried to do, oops, added that. I tried to do Minecraft. I had like maybe 15 episodes, but it just never got anywhere. And now that I think about it, if I would have stayed doing Minecraft, I think that it would have really been good for my channel. I think that it would have been very, very helpful. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that uh, it would have been super helpful if I would have kept doing Minecraft. But guess what? I didn't. I, start, I kept doing Call of Duty, so who knows? I feel like there's so many times when I just kind of messed up and I could have been having some crazy, crazy... Um, 
hugeness in my channel. But hey, who knows? Whatever. It is what it is. We're still doing good. And that's all that matters. Look at this. We're getting close. We're getting close, man, to to this to today, to this to this time. And now we're in COD Ghosts. Or we're almost in COD Ghosts. And it was pretty crazy, man. Like, during COD Ghosts, why you should not be excited, first time masturbating, still answering classic stuff for you guys. I was still doing all this classic stuff. So yeah, I did some Batman, some Batman stuff, and now it's COD Ghosts. And I gotta say, man, Call of Duty, like for me personally, during Call of Duty Ghosts, I thought it was a really good game, man. I thought Call of Duty Ghosts was a good, solid game, but I thought that it was boring. So it was a solid game, but it was boring. So during that time, I really didn't post as much as I should have. And like, I think during Call of Duty Ghosts, I went from maybe 17,000 subs to like 20,000 subs. Only 3,000 sub gain during the whole year of Call of Duty Ghosts. And now in Advanced Warfare, it's not even done with a year yet. And we're already, we've are already we already gained 10,000 subs. Which is just so awesome and crazy, man. But also during that time, I did break up with my ex-girlfriend. We like broke up. And so I just was like going out and having fun and trying to get my mind off of that whole situation. So I just wasn't posting that much during COD Ghosts. And a lot of people just didn't like it as much as old games. So I can see why... It wasn't, you know, crazy, ridiculously popular. Um, but let, let's go ahead. The maps are way too huge. Oh, my God. LOL. I'm great. Uh, let's go ahead and let's... My first chem strike in Kagos. Yeah, here's my first assault chem strike. We'll watch this together. But... Yeah, so COD Ghost, it, I think it was a good game though, but it just wasn't fun. Um, and that's why Advanced Warfare, I think, might have been even more fun to me because COD Ghost was so lacking the fun. And I'm excited for Black Ops 3, man. But, anyways, here we are. Yo, 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 it's over. Got the normal intro going. Guys, how are you guys? Do it today. First things first about the gameplay. It's going to be my first chem strike ever, and I wanted to share this moment with you guys. It may not be the prettiest chem strike you'll ever see, but it was but it, it's just crazy, man. It's just super crazy video, that, you, you know, we've made it this far on YouTube, and I, I gotta thank you guys. Thank you so much for everything. And, um, the video stopped loading at this point, so basically, there's not gonna be, like, the videos, for some reason, only go to a certain point, and then once it gets to, like, recent videos you have to go to your recent folder to like find all the videos so this is gonna be the last video we watch together you guys all the other stuff is gonna be recent but um it's just awesome man we'll fast forward this a little bit and then I'll talk to you guys I'll let you watch this and then uh with this we'll some tips for chem strike me and it just kind of helps me to watch it helps watch my back while I go for these chem strikes and once I do that, once you do that, then you can go ahead and start using Specialist. In my opinion, I think Specialist is more gun skill, and you don't rely on the crutches like with the Assault or Support Cod package. Ghost was fun, man. It was, just, it was a cool, it was a solid I give Call of Duty. My buddy Goblin always says this. He always says you gotta believe boring. in the gun skill. And I think that that, that is 100% true. You need to pretend like you're the best player in the lobby and nobody can touch you. Because if you do that, then you will get chem strikes. Because and you, you died so fast, you know man. I mean? you it was ridiculous that. how fast but you anyways, died. Here's what happens when just, I get this chem strike. It didn't leave so any. It didn't leave a good I impression. These guys you know what I mean? It wasn't like, strike. man, it was so fun to play right today. When I go and I get my vulture. See, I get my vulture here, so I call it. Oh in, yeah, I get my kill streak. And the chem strike at and the same time, at the same time so, so it confused me. So I try me. to rush for another kill. I die. So upset right here. I, was, I did not realize that it was my own chem strike. So I was mad. I was like, yo, who called in the chem strike? Was it an enemy one? What's going on? And then I didn't die. And only then in the kill feed did I realize it was my first chem strike. So. First chem strike wanted to share with you guys. Please leave a ton of love on this. It's pretty crazy, man. I actually did just did an Omega fan meetup for 30,000 subscribers. There's some girls' boobs. Yes, I use girls in my thumbnails because a lot of my stories involve girls, man, and it does attract more viewers. And it's good. It's good for the channel. And uh, the stories, it does change the stories, man. The stories are still good. So, pretty cool, man. We'll check this out real quick. Look at this 30,000 subs, 4 million video views absolutely crazy wow my schedule doesn't make any sense but also people keep asking me about this and this is something i just want to throw out there and talk to you guys real quick about um people always ask me hey advice can you hop on skype with me can you talk to me can you do this i don't have time for all that but um after getting so many people and this isn't for like i personally 
like I just am offering this as an option. I still will give advice and still answer questions and do all this stuff. But as an option, there are people that literally do want YouTube advice and they want to sit down and talk with me for like an hour. So at this point, I've decided 25 bucks. You get an hour of my time. I can take you out to dinner, offer you YouTube advice, spank your girl. We can game together, whatever you want to do. Um, that Like it will be a business seminar type of thing. If you want advice or you want to work with me, stuff like that. Um, but I still do my best to work with people that I enjoy and all that good stuff. So it's not bad. So let's check out some recent videos real quick. If you guys want to check these out. So as of late, I've decided that story times, Omega videos, and Q and A's are what is popular on my channel. And as you can see, D's nuts on Omega, 3,500 views. Um, hottest girls ever, 6,000 views. First time getting a ticket. My mom found my sex videos and nudes, 26,000 views, man. Uh, best sex ever, lost my V-card, my girlfriend cheated on me with a girl, my nudes got leaked. Like, this, I feel, I feel good about this type of content because of two reasons. One, it's fun for me, it helps you guys to get to know me more, and it is, these are videos that you can show people in a year from now, and they'll still be funny, and they'll still be cool, whereas... Doing Call of Duty news videos, after about three days, nobody's going to watch that video anymore. And so I think that we're, everybody I've talked to likes the change, man. Everybody I've talked to likes the change. And so I'm going to keep doing it. Story times, Q&As, Omega videos, I'm going to keep bringing it to you. And uh, hopefully that's something that really does help my channel out, you guys. And um, I'm actually, I do have a secondary channel. You guys can go subscribe to it. I'll click on it right now. It's The Overflow. So you can go and you can subscribe to this channel. There's a few videos on here, but mostly it's just my backup channel. I have about 1,200 subscribers here. Um, I'm probably going to start uploading live comms, just more video game footage to here because my, my channel now is more going to be personal stuff. But I'll do more video game footage on this channel. So go subscribe there. It's also my backup channel, so it is very important that you are subscribed to it. But if you guys want to check out my stats for the past, you know, couple days or whatever... 187,000 views, 1,000 subscriber gain. So we're averaging 200,000 view, views a month, averaging 1,000 new subs each month, um, which is all crazy. And uh, I haven't even really started working with people a lot yet. So I can only imagine what happens when we work with people. And it is just super exciting, you guys. I am so excited. I'm just, I'm just really happy about the way everything is going right now. And uh, thank you guys so much for everything you guys are absolutely beautiful and i hope that you guys continue to watch the videos this is, has been like a look back at the past four years of youtube hopefully it just goes higher and higher man um and with your support it will so thank you guys so much for everything that you do thank you for being there to watch the videos and uh i really i i appreciate you guys so much i mean you guys may not always realize it but youtube means a lot to me um i've been doing it a while and i may not have the biggest channel but it does mean a lot to me, and you guys, you guys all mean a lot to me, and and thank you so much. Um, shoot, maybe I'll be doing a five year anniversary look back, and we'll have a hundred thousand subs. Who knows? But that would be insane, man. So thank you guys. I love doing this. This was really cool to see some of my old videos. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, you guys are absolutely beautiful people. Let me know what you think about everything. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and say. Uh. What should we say? Look back at it. Say that. <laughs> Love you guys a ton. You guys are wonderful. I am over and out.